I think a lot of people are severely underestimating the power of Ike and Yamauchi. Think about this. The strongest, the most like highest rank person at school right now is apparently, well, at first years, right? It's Arisu. She's the queen of the school. But Yamauchi effortlessly crushed her by fucking walking into, so she just, he just kicked her cane, right? Then he went over to try to help her out. But it was interesting how she's like, nah, you don't need to help me. And then Yamauchi says, hmm. Yo, Alice is quite the cutie, but she's quite the klutz. And Ike is like, bro, you kicked her fucking cane. Moments like this is amazing in classroom review league because as much as I meme about how Ike and Yamauchi are the black room graduates, if you really think about it, everything is so fucking dramatic and serious, right? Like you have like Arisu, the queen of the school, but then you have two NPC characters taking them out. Fantastic. What if Arisu actually takes this seriously though? And she like has her sight on Yamauchi and she decides to expel Yamauchi instead of like, cause like the whole point I thought was getting Kushida expelled. But what if it's like a twist and Yama God gets expelled? If that happens, it is what it is. Let's begin today's reaction though. The quote of the day is, man is wolf to man. Too deep for me. Way too deep for me. Watch out for wild boars. Immediately we start the episode, Koenji greatness. Bro is so fucking ahead. He's not even above them in the trail. He's on a separate fucking mountain, dude. Giga Shad, how beautiful. <laughs> the truly superior belong in high places, don't they? <laughs> yes, they do. He's the man that's gonna lead Japan to the future, man. We have seen him be a Tarzan before, fucking swinging into- Okay, when in season one in the island arc, where he decided to go to the fucking forest to hang around and leave, when he was swinging in the trees, that was kind of unrealistic, but it's like, okay, whatever, right? But this right here? He just jumps? What do you mean? What? Where is the landing? How? It's all right. Koenji Giga Chad. It's fine. It's fine. Giga Chad. <laughs> Yukimura Keisei injured. Uh-oh. Oh, Yukimura's our leader too. Yo, Keisei and Ishizaki has been having a lot of beef, huh? Maybe in the light novel, they had a lot more beef. That's why they're introducing more. But like, holy shit. Last episode too, they were fucking fighting. And <laughs> we haven't heard Albert talk yet, right? I want a bad boy. Say something, Albert. Albert, say something. All right. Wait, what? No. No. No! This dude is hunting wild boars? It was, the sign said beware for wild boars! And Koenji is straight up hunting so he can provide food. Like, would he share? I'm not sure if he would share, but holy fuck. Barehanded, he took down a wild boar. Oh my god. This dude is perfect! Except for his personality, which I think I still love. <laughs> Just taking out a boar. <laughs> Koenji, <laughs> Koji scene. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? If it isn't a little boy. Uh, so, I know Koji's nickname that Koenji gives his little boy. What? <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> a little boy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he says, I know Koji boy, yo. Did you do it? Did you fight it? Like what? Oh my god, dude. But he's not gonna help. It's pretty hard to convince Koenji, but this is a really rare Koji and Koenji scene, huh? We, I don't think there has ever been like a 1v1 like this, or it's very rare. <laughs> I ain't helping out. Fuck you. Who dictates it? It's me? I dictate- This guy. I love him so much! Wait, what? Koji? Is he tugging on him? The true identity of the one who got Dragon Boy to settle down. I mean... Koenji is smart, but damn, he already deduced who the fuck like defeated Ryuan in the fight. Off of what? How did he already know? Based off that little tug? Because like if you look at this, I'm not sure what he saw there, but basically Koji just tugged at him, right? As Koenji was about to leave. Look at this, right? So was the fact that Koenji couldn't move indica like an indication that damn, this kid's grip strength is fucking strong. Brr brain calculations. Ah, you took out Dragon Boy. Is, is that what's going on here? How did he know? 
Did he already have suspicions before? Now you're strong. Huh. A rare Koenji dialogue, though. Oh! The passion in your trembling arm. I'll keep your secret. These two characters are pretty much... They're not the same, but they're very interesting because these two characters are the most capable characters in Class 1D, who is Class 1C now. But they have, like, no desire to show their full powers. They're pretty much on the side quest just chilling out, right? I have no plans of revealing your secret. What is his secret? Because we do know that Koenji eventually does plan on getting to class 1A, right? But I think the Nagumo scene versus with him was, you know, cut out. Are they doing something here? I don't know. Let's, let's keep playing this, right? Let's keep playing this. Damn. This is rare, man. This Koenji dialogue. Nah, he sees through you. You gonna help me out, buddy? What's up? No one can control Koenji. But what if we are able to, co like, I don't know, control Koenji's heart? How do we do that? Let's think about this. How do we get Koenji to help us out? How can Ayano Koji use his manipulation tactics to manipulate Koenji? He can't directly manipulate Koenji. It's impossible. But let's say... There is like, because Koenji loves girls, right? Koenji loves going on dates, right? So what if Koji was able to reach Koenji's heart through a different proxy? A different girl shows up, we set them up, and somehow she acts as a middle girl to convince Koenji to do things that's beneficial for us, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is one way that we can kind of twist Koenji into thinking he's doing this for himself, but at the end of the day, Puppet Master, I don't know Koji, right? Puppet Master. <laughs> Sadoo! Koenji actually shared his bore me, Giga Chad. She dropped something there. She dropped something there. Pink hair girl dropped. Hey, who is this girl? New character? Wait, pink hair girl? You dropped this. Uh, Koji Riz incoming? Koji Riz incoming? What? What is this? Did she plan this? Hmm. Why? Yeah, do you? <laughs> All the fucking girls just remember Koji for the guy that was so cool in the relay. I mean, he did fight like Manabu, right? Really well? Nagumo! Nagumo! Hmm. Is this a second year girl that's part of Nagumo? No! She wants Nagumo to go down too. Hmm. Wait, wait, did I miss something there? What, is he what did he say there? One option, implying that there's multiple other options to take him out. Okay. We're not joking though. We're not joking. Wait! Hold up, he's serious, yeah. Okay. So she is another second year. Because remember, it said that Nagumo has pretty much united the entirety of second years, right? Not just, you know, D, C, B, A. No, all of second year is currently united under Nagumo, which is really interesting. But this girl is down to take him down. Is this a bait? Are we getting baited right now? Is she actually like a double agent, just like how the vice, the vice president is the double agent? Can we trust her? Hmm. <laughs> Are you ex-girlfriend? What's up? What's, what's going on there, huh? I like her. I like her design. She's great. When the girls divide into groups. What? What about it? What, what about when the girls got divided into groups? What do you mean? What? Alright, skip it. Everybody has one single layer here. Koenji fucking right in the middle. <laughs> one, two, three, giga chat. And he doesn't use a blanket. Interesting. I don't know why he doesn't use a blanket, but okay. Huh? Why are we getting his life story all of a sudden? <laughs> Do you think Koji is listening to this? I, I, I'd I like to hope that Koji is listening to this and taking notes. 
でもお前今サッカー部じゃないだろうああ隠れてタバコ吸ってた時期にあるんだ、ね、ピッチャースモークセグレッツ<笑>バレたタイブってことかいやうまくから疎外感みたいなのはずっと感じてた Do you still feel alienated right now then? だからサッカーはやめたけどたまに後悔する、hmm. サッカー部の連中を見てると俺もあの場所にいたかもしれない Chase is listening to this Everybody is listening. Well, not everybody, but that guy has his eyes open too. What was that? Wait! Hashimoto! Hashimoto is fucking uniting everybody right now with his sad backstory. Hold. This dude! This guy's too fucking good. Now Keisei's gonna start saying shit. Maybe Ishizaki and Keisei will be like, damn, you know, I used to fucking hate you, but with this like empathetic story, maybe we can relate. What's he cooking up here? Or maybe Ishizaki will still say, fuck you, Keisei. <laughs> Watch Ishizaki still be like, I don't give a fuck, you, Kimura. Yeah, he min maxes in the academic department, right? If we're thinking only about academics, he probably could be A class. But again, the school determines many different parameters and assigning different classes, right? So they probably saw that his personality or maybe his like physical skills are pretty inept, so D class. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, Yukimura feels insecure about Sudo? I didn't realize he has such insecurities like that. Holy shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, Yukimura and Ishidaki are just relating? Wow! The drama's gone. It sounds a little rude, but I think Ishizaki's just a little bit tsundere. So he's saying, you know what? You're the only one that can be leader of these bunch of misfits. Wow. And Hashimoto started all of this with this random fucking story of soccer and smoking. <laughs> This is why Hashimoto is so great a goaded, dude. He fucking did this all by himself. I hope Koji was listening, man. And you know Koenji is definitely not listening. It's fine, it's fine. We're, we're beefing now. We're having fun, though. Koji kind of listening? Albert's glasses! Can we please see Albert's face? Albert! Wait, wait, what did you just say? Wait, wait, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Listen? <laughs> we finally get another Albert line! Family. Bad boy. Boss's orders. Victorious. Family. <laughs> Why can't we see his face, dude? What is this fucking Do Flamingo from One Piece? We can never see his fucking face without the glasses, dude. Family. Oh, Ishizaki will help though because Case is injured. Damn! Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you blushing? Why are you? There's got it. The Fujos at this point are probably shipping, you know, fucking Ishizaki and Case more than Ryu and Koji now. What the fuck are you blushing for, my man? Damn. What is this Ishizaki development? I actually like him now. This dude, until the season, until this episode, I knew him as the green-haired dude that's part of Ryuan's group that always gets fucked. But now it's like, damn, he's kind of important. He's like relating to Keisa. He's being a good person. He's fucking blushing while saying this. My God, it's like not, yeah, it's, it's exactly. It's not like I want to be your friend or anything. <laughs> Was bro not cleaning the entire time? Look at this. Koenji was sitting this entire time while everyone is cleaning. Bro is just fucking watching them clean. <laughs> Goodbye, peasant. Keep on cleaning. Now he did his work. He brought the boar here. Koji, let Koji run! Or Koenji? Koenji or Koji, let them run, please. But Koenji's not going to. Oh, it's incline. Damn. Look at this teamwork. They're all supporting each other, man. 
Wow. Yeah. Oh, Albert Line? Albert Line again? Sorry. <laughs> Family. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Albert Dub. Wait, what did Koji say here? What did Koji say here? I'll do the best I can too. He won't be the anchor? I mean, you know how like Koji was like straight up told Manabu like like witness me. Now I'm gonna go even faster, but we never got to see that. Can we please see it here at least Koenji? But knowing this show, it's gonna fucking cuck me. He's not gonna help. Hey, Yamauchi's there too. Okay. Oh, 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 I handed off the notes there. What did the notes say? Who the f hey, it's Manabu's assistant. Why are you crying? Did Manabu say shut up again? What? Why are you crying? The fuck? <laughs> Manabu told me to die. Oh, oh she's worried for Manabu. Did does he ever? Oh, this is where the cut light novel content comes from in episode one, right? Because Manabu was stated to, um, he wants someone that he can trust, right? He regrets that on his path to, you know, student council president or whatever, he never had a person that he could fully trust and be there for. So now I feel like Koji could be that person, but knowing Koji, I feel like Koji would betray him, break Manabu's heart, you know? I, I don't think he's the kind of person that you can truly trust and be like a loyal friend to, but they can probably use each other. Interesting. He's been hard carrying. So you're out here crying, fucking being self-pity instead of thinking about what you can do to beat Manabu? Sorry, Nagumo? <laughs> no, Koji's gotta help. Koji, I mean, already got the orders. Like, we're gonna help. Right, she wasn't there though. She wasn't there part of the meeting. Who the fuck is snoring this loud? It, it, who is this? I think it's one of the other green-haired dudes. Wait, Hashimoto? Meeting with the queen? Hmm. Wait, Koji noticed something? What's he going? Oh, it's pretty late at night. Arisu? Meeting with? Ryuen? Ryuen? <laughs> and, and Nagumo! And Manabu? You all the big players are here. Ryuen. <laughs> Hashimoto. Manabu, Nagumo. Okay, okay. What are they doing? Who knows what they're talking about? Mixed training camp, last day. Oh, shit. Oh, we're doing the four tests. Wow, okay, okay. We're doing it already. Meditation, written. That's right. Yukimura hard carries. Speech? Who was gonna speech on our side? Hashimoto or... I mean... He probably is a pretty competent speaker, but damn, Koji really did a speech like that? Yo, this is sick, what? The running, the running, marathon. All right, we just fucking, we just skipped test one, two, three. Oh, um, uh, eh, this kind of sucks. I mean, I would have liked to see the tests, but I guess it's not that important. More of, yeah, we'll, we'll get there in the light novel stuff, don't worry. All right, marathon time. <laughs> Who the fuck is Sumida? Bro, you're late already, go! That's Sumida guy useless. That's Moriyama! I, again, another fucking NPC! Totsuka! You're not the trap from Snafu, get the fuck out of my face. Hashimoto though, Giga Chad, I like him. Already catching the distance. Albert! <laughs> Let's go, Albert! What are you doing, bro? Let's go, Albert. Yo, he's fast as fuck. I mean, they did say he's super fast on a decline, right? They specifically said that, but damn. That boy fast. Ishizaki? Who's gonna be the last two, though, right? I mean, Koji or... But he's... Uh-oh. Can Yukimura do this for a bit? The foot, though. 
Ah, shit. Dude, the fucking baton pass, it's not a baton, but like, he's like, the case like this. What a beautiful friendship out of nowhere. Let's go, Keisei. Are we not gonna see Koji run fast? I wanna see it. This soundtrack is funky. Okay, okay. okay Koji's gonna put the, be the anchor, maybe? Come on, Keisei, come on! Bro! I can't be angry at him. He's already physically nerfed. I can't be upset with him. Bro can barely see, too. Holy shit. Damn, he caught him. I got it now. Main character moment! <laughs> Leave the rest to me! Yo, this is the soundtrack that played during the Manamu race. This is the running soundtrack, right? What, Koenji? Koenji, are you gonna try hard? <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. Koenji's gonna finish? Wait, he's moving? He's gonna contribute? Don't end the episode. Don't end the episode. Why? Why again? You did this again! Season 2, you did this shit! At least you gave me fucking Hanukoji versus Ko like Manabu. And now you give me. You fucking. He's gonna actually work up a sweat? He's gonna fucking work up a sweat? I. <sighs> I've joined the light novel squad where I say the anime is fucking trash. We, all, we never get enough Koenji scenes and you skip this shit too? Like, what the fuck? Did they skip this in the light novel? Like, could you not at least show me a little- I mean, they did show us Koenji fucking kill a boar in the beginning, and it's a crazy like mountain shit, but like... <sighs> they are fucking teasing us to the max with this guy, man. That's some bullshit. Okay, training camp is over already. Damn. What the fuck did Arisu even do? She tripped once and just... I mean, she can't run, but like, I guess we didn't get the perspective of different classes this time, huh? No one got expelled yet again. <laughs> what do you know? Hey. Another exam where they say people get expelled. Family. Are we just family now? Are, is Albert and Ishizaki Hashimoto, we're just boys now? <laughs> Straight up, like this is our squad? No way. Even like after this, we're actually going to be friends moving forward. This is a great alliance to have, bro. This is fantastic. Family. Family, Albert. That's right. Oh? Wait, 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 wait. What happened with Manabu? Okay, highest class was obviously Manabu's. Giga Chad. Yo, who's this guy? He's not bald, but he's got a shaved head and got ferocious eyebrows. He looks like the, I don't know, fucking son of a dojo type. Look at him. He looks fucking strong. Maybe he's like an important character too? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. We missed this. The assistant looking sad as usual because she let everyone... Manabu has to carry, but... Nagumo? Nagumo. Yeah. Yeah, it was a duel. We got the highest points, didn't we? Huh? What do you mean? I thought the whole competition was like whoever gets the highest points. I wonder about that. Was there something I missed? Hold up. No, our assistant fucked up. No, because that was for the boys only. My bad, my bad. That was only for the boys. Fuck. She fucked up. And now Nagumo's gonna get rated higher now? Oh no. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's gonna laugh? Nagumo! Yo, this is quite disrespectful. Okay, his name is Fujimaki, okay. He has the utmost confidence that he's gonna win, and this probably leads into the meeting that, you know, Ryuin, Nag well, well, Manabu was there too at night time. I wonder what happened there. Yeah, Albert should have said, bad boy, right there. The group leader was in class B, yet we're upset. But who she's taking with her? Are we 
getting some kind of suicide bomb? Wait, 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 what, what, what do you mean? What do you, who are you taking down with together? Ikari gets expelled along with this right 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 because right. because if you there, there's like a exception right the rule is that the leader will get expelled but if there's some circumstances where some of the other people fucked around the leader can take one of the other person with them and the person she takes will be no. No. <laughs> She can't catch him. No shot. Is she gonna get expelled? No way. No way. And it's even like kind of crazy that she's down to just go down like this. What? It was a fake out. To isolate Manabu for the future. It was never about Manabu. It was about, you know, dismantling the entire framework around Manabu. Oh shit. Wait. Right, we talked about this the, the grouping of the girls. Because she felt guilty. She didn't want to burden you. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is getting juicy. Love? I think she does kind of love him, right? Let me taste those tears. Yo, Nagumo, I didn't realize he was this fucking disrespectful. Holy shit. He's like fucking clapping like, oh, congratulations. He's just fucking laughing. Nagumo is so fucking BM, dude. Holy shit. Male Kushida? I don't know, but... Yo, this guy is fucking cocky. Pompous. What cost? The trust. The trust. I mean... I mean, wait, 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 wait. Hold the fuck up. He just said that you lost something important, right? This costed you. My trust for you. But last episode, we were straight up. We have a fucking double agent. We were straight up meeting with Koji. It's like, yo, take out Nagumo for me. So how the fuck are you going to say? I still trusted you. I mean, maybe there's like a little bit of trust there, but it's fucking hilarious, you know, listening to this. When we, when the shit that happened last episode was just a pure fucking scheming to take out Nagumo too. Maybe Nagumo already knows there's a ducking double agent. Damn. He won? She's a great asset. She's always been there for him since season one. Wait! What do you mean? What do you mean? What can you do? Hold up? You can buy a student back? What? What? Wait, 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 because 20 million points is to fucking, you know, um, to transfer to a different class, but you can buy students back? <laughs> but Nagumo surely understood, right? Nagumo surely understood this. So maybe this is his true plan all along. To waste Manabu's points like this? Because like, think about it, he surely knows the rules too. Yeah, you truly can't buy anything and put points in this game. What the fuck? Nah, nah, Manabu. Everybody's down. Class 3A is great. Holy shit. Yo, Manabu is so cool right now. I guess Nagumo isn't the only one with two faces. What does that mean? Are we talking about Manamu's face here? Are we talking about someone else? I'm missing something there. Still upset they fucking skipped Koenji's running scene. Uh, he fucking was cooking, dude. He cooked. Yeah, what about Ikari, though? What about Ikari? Why? She will just buy her back? Hmm. Yeah, I, wh how does he... What does he get from this? Oh, because he has everyone united, he can afford to do it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
That, it, it is extremely reckless, but he still did it. Yo, Nagumo's willing to fucking just like gamble. He's willing to fucking cannibalize. Oh? Bye, K. Hmm? What's up? <laughs> would you say me too? <laughs> I don't know if he would. If she, if the only reason he would save her right now, I feel like, is if it, if if saving her was actually you know helpful into getting to class A, right? He's gonna say yes, probably, or maybe I don't know, but. Come on. If she's not a useful tool. If she is a useful tool, yes. If she's not... I'm sorry, Kay. I wouldn't... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Sure, for sure. For sure, yeah. Uh-huh. He's really getting good at manipulating this poor girl. Bro, this relationship is fucked up. The more I think about it, this relationship is so fucked up. He's grooming and manipulating her. This gaslighting her. This is so <laughs> fucked. His riz on girls is so manipulative. It's insane. A series of expulsions? All class is getting expelled? Damn, what a ridiculous episode. Like, all over the place. First of all, Hashimoto, I think, is such an underrated character. This dude is like the glue that like gets everybody together. This dude is so charismatic. He's able to just unite everybody. Ishizaki and Casey, I didn't think they would be friends. We are straight up family. Albert is straight up saying, family. This is great. We have the boys. This is great because we have class 1D, C, B. Do we have a B class boy? I'm not really sure. But anyways, we got some alliances. Albert and Ishizaki, they're our boys, man. Koenji doing Giga Chai Koenji thing. He fucking takes out a boy. He jumps from a fucking mountain. But like, why couldn't you show me the running part? Why? Why? Just when Koenji fucking says, he's like, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to work up a sweat. And then fucking gives me deja vu season two where, hmm, what? Now I'm gonna go even faster off screen. Fucking L, but it is what it is. They keep fucking hyping us up with this, but I hope we get to see more Koenji greatness in the future. The other part is, I guess, talking with this girl, right? The pink haired girl. I'm not sure if she's going to be important for the future, but because she's in class two, right? And the fact that Nagumo has seemingly united everyone in class two except her, I don't know. I don't know. Is she a double agent? Who knows? But she seems to be someone that we can use to penetrate this class two simp armor that Nagumo has formed. Fucking insane that, like, 20 million private points or, or you know personal points and 300 class points right huge huge losses just to save tachibana and nagumo's plan was that the entire time bro was ready to fucking expel her own student his own like um group because he can buy them back too but the difference is he's so much more loaded this is he's like four times as more loaded than everyone else because he has the entire class too right versus year of uh second years versus you know manabu who only has one to see other people around Manabu like this, this is pretty cool. I hope we could see more of this guy. This temple monk, you know, shaved head guy. Nagumo's way of doing things, I like it. This dude is willing to take the fucking risk. He's willing to burn shit down, even if it means burning himself down. Because at the end, the net positive, I still win. His methods, ooh, I like it, dude. I like it up. And he's got the riz. I want to see more of him. What was Riwin, Manabu, and Nagumo talking about at nighttime? Who knows? But that's the episode, man. Also, K. Okay. Classic Anakoji manipulating K. Oh, yeah, sure. I do whatever it takes to save you only if it benefits him. But that's the episode, guys. Hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.